Hey, hey, kids. Buy my cereal. <laughs> that was a terrible crusty impersonation. How the heck are you crazy creeps? Whew, I am winded, but well worth it. We are here, as you can see behind me, the Skyline Memorial Gardens. Beautiful cemetery here in the West Hills of Portland. And I'm rocking the Krusty the Clown shirt because today I am excited been wanting to do this for a long time. We are visiting the, the grave of the real life Krusty the Clown. That's right. Loosely based on Mr. James Allen, who was a clown here, a, til, a, t, a kids television talk show host and very famous around Portland. He was loosely based on Krusty the Clown. Matt Groening said so. And today we're going to go visit his final resting place. We're going to tell you more about Rusty Nails. That's right. The real life Krusty the Clown. So stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. I'm excited for this. We've got a whole playlist of real life Simpsons. All from Portland. Being a huge Simpsons fan, I actually have them tattooed on me. But nonetheless, we are here to pay our respects to Mr. Rusty Nails, also known as Krusty the Clown. So stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this one. Yeah, just a a spectacular view up here it was quite the journey but very well worth it now I'm hoping if I did my research properly that his uh, his final resting place is actually right here within this little circular section but I'm just not quite 100% sure exactly where but if you do see these bushes that are very well maintained there's kind of all these different sets of them and not to mention the statues here as well kind of helping me narrow this down St. Matthew here. Yeah, this is uh, very pretty. And my guesstimation is in the picture that I was able to find, you can barely make out these two kind of, you know, oval bushes with these littler ones here. Also, so I'm guessing that his headstone is basically right back in here, right behind these bushes. So we're going to go up here and see if we can find it. Alright you guys, without an actual, you know, grave locator other than just the destination, it did take me a minute, but it's well worth it. Not only one of my favorite Simpsons characters, Krusty the Clown, but like I said, loosely based on a real life clown, Rusty Nails, that's right. Loosely based, like I said, on Krusty the Clown was actually a real life clown here in Portland for many years rusty nails and Matt kind of just used Portland as his you know basis for the Simpsons a lot of the street names his mom and dad being Homer and Marge his sister Lisa and Maggie he actually used a lot of Portlanders for you know characters for the show and rusty nails being one of them a very famous clown in fact I found a picture that I absolutely love of rusty nails 
and Mel Blanc, Mel Blanc being the voice of all the Looney Tunes characters, also being from Portland, they actually collaborated and did some things which was really awesome and Mel Blanc was actually dressed up like a rabbit which I thought was awesome because he did voice Bugs Bunny. But like I said, really a nice, nice man, a very Christian clown. Um, you know, always kept things, you know, above the belt while Krusty on the other hand is kind of <laughs> a little different. But I give you the final resting place to Mr. James H. Allen, like I said, better known to his fans as Rusty Nails. That is so cool. Just to stand here and just to think he was the inspiration for Krusty the Clown. Matt Groening obviously was fond of him. 1928 to 2015. And it says, in God's loving care. But there you have it, folks. Krusty the Clown, the real life Krusty. That is so cool to me. Wanted to share some info about Rusty Nails. His, uh, his clown show ran from 1957 to 1972 on KPTV 12. Second only to Rod, Andler, Rod Anders on the Rod, Ramblin' Rod show, which I absolutely loved as a kid as well. Um, it was the second longest running program he was born May 15th of 1928, unfortunately died July 28th of 2015. He actually died of heart failure that July of 2015. In 1998, he wrote a autobiographical book called Send in the Clowns, which I think The Simpsons actually did an episode called Send in the Clowns, Clowns as well. He died at the age of 87. He's, he's survived here, like you can see on the headstone, by his wife, Georgia, of more than 60 years, and his four children and nine grandchildren. So he is definitely very well loved and missed in Portland. And I actually found a little article, like a little interview that Dan Castanella did, the voice of Krusty the Clown and Homer and a bunch of other characters talking about how Matt Groening loosely based him, you know, on, on Rusty the Nails, but he goes to say in great detail how Matt was very, you know, adamant about letting folks know that Rusty was definitely not like Krusty, just kind of the similar names. And they were both clowns, obviously. And I did find some pictures of him dressed up as Rusty Nails in his getup. And it's so cool. And I'm wondering who actually has the costume. I wonder if his family has it or if the Oregon Historical Society actually got a hold of it. But for Simpsons fans, pretty darn cool to think that not only is Krusty, you know, kind of a real life person, but another character based here out of Portland. And we've actually done a whole playlist of real life Simpsons people. I was invited to Matt Groening's childhood house by the new owners and I'm just blown out of the water being there. It was so fun. And over the years we've done, we've done a ton of coverage of different, you know, people and iconic Portlanders, but my favorite to do are definitely the Simpsons. I, I absolutely love the Simpsons. Um, I mean, I have them tattooed on me. <laughs> and my next tat will actually probably be of Krusty. But I wanted to, you know, take you guys up here today and pay our respects. And just talk about that tie to the Simpsons in Portland. And how off, absolutely awesome that is. I'm also noticing as I'm standing here that one of these flowers fell this back up for them but yeah just is uh absolutely stunning views up here to say the least and i just absolutely love that he is resembled after or you know crusty was resembled after him and that matt you know chose to use his childhood memories i'm pretty sure matt grew up watching camp uh 
you know, Ramblin' Rod, Captain Kangaroo, all the like little TV sideshow hosts. Um, which I think that's so funny how we incorporated that into the Krusty the Clown show, kind of the like Rusty Nails meets Ramblin' Rod, all kind of tied into the same thing to kind of make the Krusty the Clown show. But yeah, just incredible. I love it. I love that I came up here to visit and I love that Matt, you know, paid all his respects and homage to fellow Portlanders and really folks that people love and miss. So I always find that to be so cool that Matt knows his roots. <laughs> so cool. Send in the clowns. Send in the clowns. Hey, hey, kids, buy my cereal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was a terrible crusty, but I do want to say, whoop, I do want to say rest in peace to Mr. Allen, and uh, never really got to see you perform, but from what I've read and everything, you definitely were a really true, truly nice man, genuinely a good person. And a lot of kids really loved coming to see you. And your show and you are, are really missed by a lot of Portlanders and fellow Simpsons. People love you. So rest in peace, Mr. Allen. It's a pleasure to have come up here to your final resting place. And thank you for all your dedicated work you did here in Portland. And the Simpsons love you and I love you for that. So rest in peace. Matt had based him on a, cart, a, a clown he had known when he was growing up in Portland called Rusty the Clown, but he was completely different. He was like kind of a Christian clown or something like that. that and, um, and he was a very nice clown, but he took the name Rusty and turned it into Krusty. So anyway, I remember Bob Bell's voice and you just doing things, doing these things on the fly. So I just did that. That was the voice. That's gonna do it from Skyline Memorials. If you guys have any favorite memories of Rusty Nails, make sure you guys put it in the comment section. I would absolutely love to hear it. And like I said, we did do a playlist of a ton of real life Simpsons folks from Portland based on, you know, Matt Groening's characters loosely based on these folks. But Krusty the Clown, Rusty Nails buried right here in Portland. His show was cool, man. I know a lot of folks loved it. And uh, if you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. You can ring that bell that way. When I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. I need some crusty O's now. <laughs> yeah, pretty darn cool. Unfortunately, he is no longer with us, but his memory on the Simpsons stays alive. I love you guys. Creeper out for now. Peace.